For all the times we've made pancakes on the griddle, we've never made them from scratch. And that changes today. Do you want to see how we make these delicious, buttery, fluffy pancakes from scratch? Stick around while we dig, dig in. Hey, welcome, welcome back. back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And I'm Parker. And we are the, the Wall Twins. And Parker. That's <laughs> Parker, true, and Parker. Yes. Here we got Parker here with today. Us. Yeah! Parker is one of my amazing kiddos and one of my favorite little buds to hang out with, and he loves cooking, or he started really liking cooking mm -hmm. and talking about the foods and things that we do, and he's been wanting to cook on the griddle with us. Yep. And one of his favorite things to make? Pancakes. Pancakes and waffles inside, and they're phenomenal. Some days he'll just wake up and say, hey dad, you want some pa pancakes, you want some waffles? And he's on it like blue bonnet, right? Mm -hmm. But you've never made them on the griddle. No, I haven't. How about we do it today? Have you ever made them from scratch? Uh, no, I haven't. And yet he's gonna teach us and take us through this step-by-step -step mm -hmm. process and we're all excited for it. And we are super excited for it. In fact, we could talk about it or we could just get to the groceries. Yep, here we go. All right. You can see, here's what we're uh, working with. We've got this uh, melted butter right here and then salt, sugar, baking powder, eggs, flour, whole milk, and right here, um, we're using a spring tree maple syrup to top them with. You know, we love having Parker here with us. Cannon's over here getting set up on the sound. Cannon, poke your head in here. There he is. Got his hair. <laughs> his hair looks fantastic. He didn't see his hair until right at that moment that you saw it. Oh man, no. Uh, he's out here helping us. It is a, it's a beautiful morning. It's a humid morning yes. today. And it's great to be alive and living in Central Florida. We love Ain't it. Ain't that the truth? We yes. love it. But super excited that Parker gets to help us with this one. He's going to walk us through this like we said, right? You excited? Yeah. And he's gonna be doing some dad jokes along the way with us. He's got a lot of puns, right? Uh, yeah, I'm very punny. Yes, See, boom, right there, dude. just right off Bam. the bat. Boom. Off the bat. But let's go ahead and get to the cook. Here we go. Oh. Let's get to the prep, and then we'll get to the cook. First things first, though, we gotta set the griddle to medium low. Let's do this. I know he's right. gloving up, but Parker, why don't you go ahead and fire up the griddle here? Got it. Okay. Yep, we're gonna turn it onto the flame. Yep. All three of them. There you go. Yep, push the button. Give it a start. That's all started up. Yep. And then, about, so. So if this is low, then this would be about medium. About yep. seven, about the seven if you're looking on a clock. Yep, I'm bringing it down just a little because we want about 35 past the hour, right? Yep, good job. All right, Parker, let's go ahead and get uh, Brett going here. All right, so what you're am gonna, I doing first? You're going to pour all that flour into the mixing bowl. There you go. Oh, just then, dump it? Yeah, just dump it. Okay, cool. What's so next. You're gonna pour in the sugar. Which is the big uh, one. Basically you're taking your dry ingredients, right? Yeah, you're just taking all the dry ingredients and pouring them in that bowl. Okay. It doesn't matter what. Sugar. Sugar, salt. Salt. Baking powder. Salt is being a little stubborn with the humidity Excuse out of me. here. Baking powder. Come again. Baking powder. And then. You're gonna mix those, right? You're gonna mix them. Make sure everything is evenly mixed. Okay. And then what are we doing? Then we're gonna take our old flour bowl. We're gonna wipe that. We're gonna wipe this down real quick so we can mix the eggs and the wet ingredients. With All right, that is wiped out. Cup and a half of milk. Okay, so you're gonna measure that. So that's two cups. So we'll use most of that and then measure, make sure. Uh, a little more. Okay. Right. Is that all but a half? Nope. Right there. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, and okay. you're going to put the two eggs? The two eggs. <laughs> then you're going to whisk those for the biscos. Yeah. Whiskos for whiskos the biscos. Whiskos for the biscos. And you can also toss in your uh, butter. The melted now, butter. Now, the butter is optional. This is cooled melted butter. So there is our cool melted butter. It started to solidify just a little. You do still want it liquid for that melted butter, but that's okay. All right, go ahead and whisk that. Right. Whisk that for the bisque that. Mm -hmm. Thanks. That's quite the whisking maneuver there. That's a whisky maneuver, you hear him, Brett? <laughs> that's a whisk I'm willing to take. <laughs> and all right, time to mix. Time to mix the wet with the? Dry. All right, I think you're right. So I just go and I whisk as I pour or what? Yeah, oh yeah, you gotta, yes. Yep, there you go. So you just whisk it until it's, uh, until it's, uh, All combined? Yeah. And you're not gonna necessarily get out all the chunks, which is fine. Basically, you're just getting a nice uh, batter, batter consistency. Yeah. Uh huh. And we also gotta remember, we still have half a cup of milk and we can add more if needed, is that right? Yeah. Yes. So if it's if the consistency is a little too thick, you can add more of the milk to, to thin it out. Thin it out, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Casey, we need a little more? Yep, we need more milk. Just a little more milk. Let's go about half of that. Good job. That's good. Good job, Parker. Mm -hmm. I'll thin out the pancakes because, you know, we don't want thick pancakes. Yep. Won't be as fluffy. We don't want pan how hockey pucks. Mm -hmm. We want pancakes. Yes. What do you think? That's about That's the, the, the smooth good consistency. consistency for what you make it with the with the with the pre-made, right? Yep. Let's go ahead and switch angles and uh, let's get our cook on. I. All right, we got the second angle set up. I did turn the griddle to low for now because it was really hot, even at that medium yeah, low setting. Think about these ultimate griddles and the Sierra. It gets so hot. They get very, very hot. Right. If you got a Coca-Cola, now's the time to drink it. He's got his pouch full of uh, Coca-Colas down there. He just cracked one open. Let's get to the cook All right, here, here we go. We're going to do one at a time here. As you what? lay, and you can make your pancakes as big or as small as you like. You can make them any size you what like. Oh, uh, yeah. uh, we'll get silver dollar or larger. Okay. Apparently, Brett only wants to make three pancakes today. <laughs> <laughs> three pancakes. Oh, man. All right, that's good, because those are going to continue to grow a little bit. All right, here, here, let me wipe you off there. Thanks, pal. Yep. Good looking out, battle buddy. Yep. We'll do five, I guess. Apparently. All right, go and one more. I did turn it back up to medium low. All right, looks like we got enough for one more, but we'll wait a little bit. Oh, let me get you. All right. Now, Parker, do we know what we're looking for before we flip? So basically, you want it to be a thicker consistency. Like, you'll see it rise up more. Like, look at these ones. I think these ones are almost ready to flip. Mm -hmm. also, also, we're seeing golden brown around the outside. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then also another thing. Why are they called flapjacks? They, could, they should be called flat jacks. Flat, flat jacks, jacks, not flapjacks. Flap. <laughs> ah, flappity flap. Okay, let's check the, just kind of lift just a little bit because it'll stick. Oh, look at that. GVD, baby. Okay, and then flip it. We'll make it run nice and quick. Go. Boom. Good Look job, at that. Bud. All right. That is a flat nice. jack if I've ever seen one, Adam. That is. All right. If you're familiar with griddle cooking, you know that uh, the different areas of the griddle, even though you have them on the same, uh, level as far as we, we have medium low to low, there's still going to be different temperatures at different areas of the griddle. I think it's ready. Did you get the plate out? Yep. Looks good oh. enough. It's a little bit lighter, but that one's good to go. Good job. All right. And you want to you want to check these? Or the front of these aren't going to cook? There you go. Dude, you're doing yeah, a good job. Yeah, I'll towards You back. can push it back a little bit. See, this one has like a little. Push this one up pattern. a little. Yep. Little cheetah pattern. I like it. You want to check this one? Okay, you can pull it back and go a little bit longer. There you go. Let me check this one, actually. Dude, I, I like this hands-off yep. approach. This is awesome. This that, is, this is great. We should, we, should, we should have just done this We're, the whole time. Like, what, we're wasting our time doing all the cooking. Get the children Cheetahs never prosper. It. Cheetahs never prosper. Right. I, yep, those are holds. Let's go ahead and flip them. Nice. Good job. Good Boom. Job, dude. <laughs> He gets the edge. <laughs> this is clearly out. not Parker's first rodeo when it comes to flipping pancakes. Little golden brown right there. GBD, baby. See, this is the perfect pancake right there. That is. How's that one looking up all the way to the right? Uh, this one. Oh. You can smell oh, the buttery goodness. Good. Okay. Oh my gosh. Flip Go it. Sl no, nope. it doesn't need to be flipped. Okay. Look at that. All right. Flip, let's check yeah, this that's one. perfect, brother. It that needs more. Yeah. Oh, this one's good. All right, there we go. How are these ones? Uh, these ones, I'll check. Uh, this one's good. All right, here we go. There's your plate, my good man. This one, you can still see some dough in there. Okay. Right. Brad has a nag for nailing the uh, <laughs> the pour. Those are all the exact same size. <laughs> oh man, there we go. Next one. Same oh, size. All right, we've got, uh, is that the last one? Yep. yep. So let me do this. In case you're wondering how much two, uh, two cups of flour makes, exactly six this size pancakes. Six this size pancakes. <laughs> and um, there's enough to do maybe a little uh, silver dollar size. Yeah. 
So, you know, we were just talking about this griddle surface. We always say griddle cooking in general is superior for breakfast. It, it's just fantastic. Yeah, in fact, a lot of times, sorry to cut you off, but a lot of times when people, when we tell people that we're griddle cooks, they assi uh, quickly assume, oh, just breakfast, because a lot of people think that griddle cooking is just for breakfast, but it's not, even though we're cooking breakfast here, right? Right, but the way this cooks with the eggs and pancakes, I mean, look at that. It just slides right off. All these pancakes strangely seem to have the same exact pattern on them. <laughs> right? All right, so we're gonna kill the heat. We're gonna get ready for some B-roll, and I think I get to participate in the B-roll. I think I get a oh, do the goods on that one. Fine. Let's do this. There, there they it is. are. There they are. <laughs> he tries to beat me to the punch now. Hey, yes. But we went ahead and we divvied them up because we're just ready to dig in, right? Yep. Do you want to talk about it or should we eat? Uh, talk. Okay. Uh, eat, well, yeah. eat, <laughs> eat, 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 eat. He's oh, seen us do this before. We All eat. All right. But like we say, it can look amazing. It, it definitely it does looks look amazing. Absolutely amazing. And it can smell amazing. Oh, can I get a smell? Yeah. Uh, smell, smell. Yeah, yeah. you can. <laughs> By the way, I'm leaning in because we've only got two mics, so <laughs> we got to hear Parker's voice. So we got to get in there. But if this doesn't taste amazing, then this is what? All for nine. Cheers. Cheers. I'll eat to that, my, my brother. Hmm. Oh my gosh, that's a good pancake. This is so good. Mm. This is made from scratch. It's got all the flavors that obviously you'd expect in a pancake. It's fluffy, it's light. It also has a nice dense density to it. I was waiting for you to stop. So stopping. almost more dense than the boxed pancakes. This is, it's got a little more density to which it. Which to me, I like better. But mm. here's the thing, and all that, can change with the whisking. Mm. Yep. If you want it fluffier, you whisk it longer. Um, we left some of those chunks in there, made it very dense, which is going to make one pancake very filling. Mm. What yeah. do you think? So it's good, but in other recipes, it requires buttermilk, which would, Dead. this is so good. Yeah, but so it would make it a little better? It would make it a little better, yes. There you go. See, honesty, and we love it. The best homemade pancake I've ever made. <laughs> yeah, mine too, because this is the first time I've ever made it from scratch. So right. I love it. So I good. Love it. Also, chocolate chips. Oh, oh well, yeah. Chocolate chips. Cho chocolate chips and bacon. And also powdered sugar, maybe? Yes. <laughs> That's a must for him. This is really good. I would say that really, if I, but same, now let me ask you this. If you were getting this at a restaurant, would you go back to the restaurant and get these pancakes again? Heck yeah. Yep. Okay, so they're that good. I love the honesty. We get the honest, clear opinion of Parker who walked us through this um, and maybe some fixes, things to do a little bit. Use buttermilk instead of regular milk. But I, by the way, this whole milk was just fine for me. Yeah, to me, this was great. This, like I said, this is better than any that I've mm. ever tasted out of a box. So mm. I love it. So Absolutely good. delicious. So good. Way to go, Parker. You know what, you get one of these right there, Parker, there you go. Mm. Man, this was incredible. Parker's over serving himself up another <laughs> Deservedly <bit> <laughs> so. You can have the whole stack, buddy. Come this here, is buddy. International House of Parker, IHOP. <laughs> <laughs> he went ahead and grabbed the other one. We're okay with that. We've got a couple other people we're gonna share this with, but these were good. That was fantastic. Absolutely. I'm really happy we came Me too, this, this was great. If you liked this, if this gave you one more idea, something that you could do on your griddle, make sure and give this a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. It's one way you can support us. And what we do, another way you can support us is through our merchandise store. There's a link to that in the description below this video. Our merchandise is brought to you through digital promotions, works closely with Crossroads Missions, and Crossroads Missions does amazing service work. We love getting to work with Crossroads Missions and loving support the work that they do. Brett, I love getting to come and do this. So this do I. Absolutely it's absolutely amazing. It's, it's so a, much fun. I, I'm, I'm calling it a breakfast banger. I thought Parker was going to stick around, but nope, no need. He was so That's excited okay. to share this but, with the family. But we got to get him back. He's got to wrap this up. Oh, us. yeah, exactly. He right did. Now. He actually took the pancakes in to go share with everybody. He's just a little stud. So, Parker, get back in. We'll feed him after, all right? Don't worry, I'm back. Yeah, he's let's back. Let's give it a wrap. All right. So, Parker, yeah. aside from coming to make these amazing pancakes, and thank you for showing us, by the way. Yes, thank mm -hmm. you so much. Why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin. No yes. matter what. No, no matter, matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And a don't forget. To, to like, like and subscribe. And, and griddle on. on. That's right, buddy. Thank you.